taken down. And experience like that can add up over the, over time. So don't be uh, quick to just let let something like that go, or even a cool bore, or any summoned unit for that matter. And it looks like this uh, demon hunter will get focused down once again, taking heavy damage even from that shockwave. And that shockwave hit about three. Drew of the Talents and still focusing it down, but he does have a potion of invulnerability, I believe, and he uses that at the last second. It takes down one raider, so it's very good to use your Demon Hunter as a tank in exchange for a unit. So, right there, but he's still very low. And if Blade Master just walks in, and oh, this could be really bad for Remind, but oh, very good swap of the TP there, and instantly TP's out. Uh, very good recognition there by uh, Remind, excuse me. Um, very you can you can tell that he's experienced um, just by something like that TPing out instead of being greedy and trying to pick off more units and in doing so he would have lost his demon hunter so good play there by just getting out and this PN just kinda scouting and it looks like if this tree of life ever does go try an expo he will spot it unless he goes right here and then it would be right of, out of range and that would be pretty funny but um yeah. Okay, let's see. He's got uh scroll of healing, a potion of healing because he knows he's he's going to be taking a lot of damage. Um and Tinker uh I'm surprised the heroes haven't leveled more in this situation just because there's been so much uh so much battling in this game. Uh Tinker's still level 1, but we will see another clash of the titans here. And it looks like he's going to put a mirror image or an illusion of his demon hunter. Pretty smart play right there. We'll see. Maybe I'm 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 positive that Lin is smarter than this to than to go and try and focus this down because he can see it right here. He can see the two, and this one's closer, so he probably is like, uh, well, I know what you're trying to do here, and he's not going to fall for it. Yeah, he's not even bothering with this here, and he goes straight for the real demon hunter. That's pretty funny. And you can see how much damage that shockwave does. Um, almost, almost half life uh, takes away half life of these dots, and he's trying to get as many in. He does take out a dot, which is very successful. He wants to get as many in as he can before this demon hunter starts uh, starts uh, using that that uh, epic mana burn of his, and before he gets stuck in the air with that cy deadly cyclone. And it looks like this will be a huge clash. Uh, the Blade Master is cycloned right away. Uh, all of these dots just about at half life because of all these shock waves that have gone down. And it looks like one raider will go down, uh, but scroll of healing used. This tinker being focused heavily. He really, but uh, nice potion swap right there. And he's using a lot of time of Lin's time and taking a lot, of, giving a lot of damage to his units while he's just focusing his heroes. That's the thing about orcs. Sometimes when they start uh, focusing. Their, uh, their, their opponent's heroes, they can't stop, and then they just use, lose all their units instead of just focusing the other player's units in the first place. And you can see how effective the Cyclone is, just keeping his opponent's units in the air the whole time. And now we have Fairy Dragons using their Mana Flare here, uh, taking Mana, or doing, oh, and the Torn Chieftain does go down as well as two Raiders, right, one after another. And this Tinker even does get away after all that. What a slap in the face to the BM. And it looks like not too good for Lin here. His raiders can't even get into the base because of the demon hunter blocking it. And they're all just taking such heavy damage and going down. And this blade master just in the air the whole time. And he does say GG. And um, that's pretty. That's a pretty standard match right there. And even in the midst of all that, <laughs> uh, he did put up his tree of life. And uh, Lin actually put up an expo here too. But, uh, yeah. So, just some insight. Um, if, you're, if you're a Night Elf player, this is kind of to tell here, uh, then Druid of the Talent is pretty much uh, ideal to do uh, against an Orc. And it's, it can be a hard strategy to master, but if you just watch replays and practice, then you'll be able to get it down. But if you do play Orc, you can see what Lin did wrong here is he focused heroes too much and he did creep well he did get his heroes a good level but like I said he just focused heroes down too much and he didn't really go for the dots which is the main and he also didn't uh, get enough 
spirit walkers in my opinion because you can see how long his units were in the air he probably needs about at least five spirit walkers I believe he even got three or four and that's the thing he also he also didn't harass enough in my opinion because he let the army composition get too big and too vast for a uh, remind there at the end you could see how many dots he had um, but yeah if you have any other questions anything else like that um, and for everybody else just leave constructive criticism if you want if you liked the video please press the like button and if you have suggestions for future replays please leave that as well and uh, thanks a lot for watching see you later guys